Okay. We're live okay. now. Okay. So, you know what we do. We welcome everybody. So greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us as always. We appreciate you. Hello, 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 everyone. We are here, again. We are here again to our One Global Movement Speak With Heart. Yes. I would like to let everyone know that our host, Dr. Yvonne Mundi, is not available today. She's got some important engagement. She may or may not be joining us, but in her absence, we are here to do the normal things we've been used to doing. Uh, here with me is uh, our sister, Yvonne Finn from Canada and another sister of us, Sharon Wedding. Yes. We appreciate your presence. <laughs> We're really happy to have all of you. And we also have our uh, managing director, John Barilla at the chat. Uh, keeping the place busy and moving. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to treat the topic as uh, we are on Oblast Academy Revolution Part 97. Mm -hmm. Our topic today is the impact of technology on the lives of children. Mm -hmm. I think this is a very good topic for us to try to pieces today to know how technology is impacting the lives of our children. So at this point, I would like our sister, Yvonne Finn, to take up the stage <laughs> and give us what she's got in stock for us while we are here giving that moral support. I have to answer this call. Huh? Thank you, my sister. OK, so as we explore today, thank God for us being here, first of all. We have to be, always be grateful for that. Hopefully, everyone had a wonderful weekend and well rested and looking forward to a fabulous week. So today we're looking at the impact of technology on the lives of our children. As we all know, technology is on the upswing and it's not going to care to stay. So today we we'll talk about some of the good stuff and some of the bad stuff. As with always in life, we have to balance those two things. Technology has been deeply integrated into our daily lives, influencing how our children learn and play and interact with the world around them. So let's explore the various dimensions of this impact. And today I just want to look at education. One of the most notable impacts of technology on children is its role in education. I believe that during the pandemic, it was just leap to the front because people were not mixing, they were not going out. And so learning at home was very important. The advent of digital tools and online resources has transformed traditional classrooms Children now have access to interactive learning platforms. Of course, Academy is going to be leading it and educational apps and virtual classrooms. This accessibility enhances learning experiences, catering to different learning styles and abilities. That's one of the good things. Everybody will be able to learn at their own style and pace. And even the subjects won't matter. Just so long as you want to learn it, you will have access to it. Um, Advantages of technology in education. There's accessibility. It enables learning anytime from anywhere. No need to travel. Engagement. Interactive and multimedia content captures attention. Personalization. Adaptive learning platforms cater to individual student needs. Global reach. It connects students globally, facilitating cultural exchange. There was a time when exchange students would have to travel from country to country. There's no need for that anymore. You can do it all through technology. The challenges of technology in education, the digital divide can widen depending on the access that you have, unequal access to technology and internet. Screen time, overexposure can lead to digital dependency and that is happening and it must be balanced. But that's of course, is rest with the adults. We're supposed to make sure that that's not happening. Quality control, we also ensure that the educational content is accurate and age appropriate. That is going to be one of the things that is highly stressed in on passive and in academy and indeed in all the products that we are creating, especially for children. Overify will vet everyone that comes into that platform. So we don't have to worry about that part. And then the impact on social interactions. Technology has reshaped how children socialize social media, messaging apps, 
and online gaming communities have redefined peer interactions. While these platforms offer connectivity and support, they can also lead to issues like cyber bullying, privacy concerns, addictive behaviors, and even mental health issues. We have to guard against that because our young people are not always discerning and they just go full out and they expose themselves to negative situations. Positive and negative effects. Positive enhanced communication, global friendships, and online support networks. Those are the positives. Negative is cyberbullying, reduced face-to-face -face interaction. It makes them isolated, I think, because I see children speaking to each other on their cell phones when they're right in the same room. It's kind of ridiculous, right? And dependency on virtual relationships. Physical and mental health. The sedentary nature of technology uses has raised concerns about physical health among children. Excessive screen time is associated with issues like obesity, sleep disorders, and musculoskeletal problems. Furthermore, there's strong awareness of the impact of technology on mental health. Again, this is something we really have to keep our eyes on with studies linking heavy technology use to anxiety and depression, okay? Parent, and also something called overload of information. That is true too. Parental concerns and guidelines. Parents play a crucial role in managing children's technology usage, setting limits, monitoring content, and encouraging balanced activities are essential. Educating parents about the risk and benefits of technology empowers them to make informed decision. And then balancing technology with childhood. It is imperative for adults to emphasize a balanced approach to technology use in children. And the best way to do so is to be doing it ourselves. We must be balanced. Take a break, promote outdoor activities like gardening, encourage physical play and exploration, set screen time limits, establish boundaries for this device usage, model healthy behaviors, demonstrate responsible technology use as adults. Sorry about that, they're testing. Encourage creativity, foster offline hobbies like art, crafts, sports, nature walks, and quiet time. So in conclusion, technology has been an integral part of children's lives offering unprecedented opportunities for learning and connectivity. However, 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 it is crucial to navigate this digital landscape responsibly considering the impact on education, social interactions, and overall well-being by fostering a balanced approach. We can harness the benefits of technology while safeguarding the health and development of our children. Thank you for listening, and please share your thoughts in the chat. Thank you. Wow. Thank wow, you. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you very this much. Is, this is really awesome. You have <laughs> nailed it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, yeah, sister. You, you applied a vast knowledge. You applied all that it needed to be ap applied to bring this topic to what it is. It Thank is you. awesome. Thank you so much for that presentation. Yeah, before I... Uh, make one or two comments in addition to what you have said. Our sister Sharon Wedding, would you like to chip in one or two words, or do you want me to con go ahead? I know you are. It was an impromptu decision for you to be here today, so you may not be prepared for this topic. We will understand okay. that, and I would like our attendees to know that you are a pro when it comes to things like this. But sometimes you can take somebody, uh, someone on our ways and it will look as if uh, the person is not uh, fully prepared, actually. Yeah, but you can even say hi to our attendees and that will be it for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And before I get started, you know what I'm going to say. Go ahead, hit that like button. Don't forget to share One Global Movement. Ring that exactly. bell so you get notification. And also, feel free to chat with us in the chat. Don't forget, hit that like button. Okay, so I am not really, really ready, but I do have things to say. You know me, I'm all about safety first. Safety first for kids is so important especially with today's technology. There is so much to talk about with today's technology with children. I don't think an hour can cover everything. 
on the safety first part. Um, thank you, thank you um, for touching about the safety first, um, Sister Rona. Um, we have, um, you talked about a couple of things, uh, screen time. Screen time is very important. See, it's really hard, especially for today's children because parents introduce um, the phone to children and the iPads to kids at a very, very early age, which is not a really good thing. Because don't remember, kids need fresh air, they need sunshine, they need to talk and be around other children. They need to look up every once in a while and say hello and realize that there's a big world in front of them. So when it comes to little ones between zero to five, please try not to introduce them to uh, technology, to your phone. Don't hand them your phone to keep them occupied. Give them a toy or something because of the fact that um, we are getting a lot of children that are getting, that are becoming autistic because of the screen time between one and five. So you really, really got to be careful because that causes so many emotional problems. They don't know how to socialize. They don't know how to communicate. All they want is to do this and look at this. And I don't know how many times I have seen a, like, as young as like six, seven, eight months, they have the phone already. And it's like, what is up with that? You, you need to not do, not do that. And also it's, it's causing, um, I believe it's nearsighted. And nearsighted is really, really bad because that can give you other health issues in life. So a lot of children are wearing glasses by the time they're five years old, which is really, really scary. It also promotes anger. How many kids get very, very angry because they play online all the time and they're playing against other people and they just, they don't want to go outside and play. They, they just want to um, play with their computer games. A quick story, I had my, my nieces and nephews when they come visit me, they know that they're only they're here to visit me, not my computer. I make sure that they leave their electronics at home and if they bring them, they cannot bring them out of the bag. I do give them one hour on the computer because of the fact that that is part of their world and I don't need to say, oh, honey, Sharon, you're too old. And it's like, you know, no, I'm not old. I just believe children should go outside and play. And many times I tell them, go outside and play. And they're like, and do what? Go make some friends. I don't know anybody. <laughs> like back in the day when I was growing up, all we had to do was kick a rock to somebody and be like, you want to be my friend? And, and then all of a sudden you'd have a friend. You know what I mean? You need to bring back the old games, like like even skipping. Most of the last time you've seen kids skipping on the street or doing hopscotch or playing games like Red Rover or hide and seek or having having water balloon fights, you know, all this stuff and jacks. You remember jacks? All yes. this stuff is all this stuff is great. And and it's okay to have the kids be on um, the computer, but it's not okay for them to be on it all the time. The first thing they do when they get home from school is they log online. And the yes. first thing they do when they get home from school, they should say hello to their parents, say hello to the house and that. And then at dinner time, uh, how, many, how many dinners now you see, everybody's eating separate. You have mom eating here, dad eating there, the kids are in the room because the kids can't put down the iPod, they have to eat and do the iPod at the same time. It's very important at least once a day to sit down at the dinner table, have your meal, talk about life itself, talk about what's going on with your children, see what's happening. So going outside in fresh air is very, very important and we must encourage that. Two hours a day is plenty of time to be on your iPad or be online, uh, play games. And that's all I have to say. Again, I'm all about safety first. Did you hit that like button? Thank you for letting me speak. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Sister Sharon. That's awesome. Wow, that is wow, right. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> Sister Sharon, honestly, I... I was just trying to, you know, make things in a different way. I didn't know you came fully prepared. She you did. Know, it was it wasn't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful contribution you have given us here. Yeah. It looks like a, two of you are on fire on this topic, to be honest. I, love I don't it, know what, topic. what yes. next you have left for me to add. 
<laughs> Honestly, I do not know that. But having said that, we know that uh, technology has its positives and it has its negatives. Yes. The way it affects our children is where we should concentrate more. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these effects, most times, you know, it makes the children to even forget what they are supposed to do and uh, be engrossed into what they are doing with that technology that is not going to help them in their mm -hmm. education or furthering the, the positive things in life. So with all the points that has been mentioned here, I could also refresh them back by talking about education, technology provides children with access to vast amount of information and educational resources, interactive yeah. learning tools, educational apps, and online courses, uh, which can enhance their learning experiences and cater to different learning styles. Communication, mm -hmm. technology allows children to connect with other others easily, which you people have already mentioned. I do not need to overflog all those things. On, on that communication, it can help them maintain relationships with family and friends, especially mm -hmm. in today's globalized world where loved ones may be far away. Creativity, this is another impact on this. Digital tools such as drawing apps, music production softwares, and mm -hmm. storytelling platforms can foster creativity and self-expression in children. They can explore various forms of art and develop new skills in a digital environment. We can also talk about entertainment. We already know video games, all these things, streaming services, and online content. These are part of entertainment, health, and well-being. Sedentary behavior associated with excessive screen time can also lead to physical health, just like our sister Sharon have said. So we need to limit all those. Digital mm -hmm. literacy and safety. Growing up in a digital age requires children to develop digital literacy skills to navigate online environments safely. Parents and educators need to educate children about online risks such as cyberbullying, identity theft, and exposure to inappropriate content. Parent-child relationships. Excessive use of technology can sometimes lead to a disconnect between children and their parents. It's essential for parents to set boundaries and encourage face-to-face -face interactions and other activities to maintain strong family bonds. Privacy concerns. Children may not fully understand the implication of sharing personal information online. Parents need to teach them about the importance of privacy and the potential consequences of sharing sensitive information on the internet. Overall, technology can greatly enrich children's life by providing opportunities for learning, creativity, like we have mentioned, communication. However, it's crucial for parents and educators to monitor and guide children's use of technology to ensure it remains a positive force in their lives. Balancing screen time with other activities and fostering open communication about technology use are essential strategies for promoting health development in children. Having yeah. said all this, we'll also think of, like uh, since I, uh, Sharon and Yvonne have mentioned, have we ever tried to monitor our children when they are using all these technologies, what they are doing online? We know about pedophile. We know so many things that go on in this world. We mm -hmm. know how some youth try to lure our children into so many disgusting things. Do we really, as parents, monitor what, monitor what these children are doing? When we buy these uh, gadgets and everything for our children at their tender age, that does not know anything about security, that does not know how to protect themselves online, do we really take those uh, devices and try to remove the some of the sensitive things which a child is not supposed to see yeah. when they are using these technologies? Mm -hmm. So I would advise that all our parents will try our best. Yes, we want our children to be happy. We want them to be like other people. We want them to just have all that is required as a child to grow up, you know, to be to be belonging because that is the world we're in now. If this child have this and your child doesn't have it, you start feeling uncomfortable. You want that child to be like another. You don't want yeah. to see them in a moody frame. But your child can still exist 
without these things because the world ecclesiastes in the bible says there is time for everything yes there is everything for life for everything a time to play a time to read a time to grow up and a, child, a time to behave like a child yep. but with what yep. we are seeing on earth now our children are growing more than the stage they are in more than yep. their age because yep. of technology because of the things that are happening in the world because other families are doing it this way and you want to follow the crowd you do not need to follow the crowd for your child to belong you can teach your child how to bold up and be able to command be the command in the group of friends that he can be or she can be exempted from being influenced from feeling moody from feeling that his own or her own is not supposed to be yeah. with they are children it's left for you as a parent to try mm -hmm. to get the student to understand the implication of following the crowd right. right because it can lead to a lot of things when you decide to follow the crowd it yeah. can lead to your child in your family you do not have any history of theft in your family you do not have any history of being envious or whatever if you don't teach that child how would the child know that this is the wrong thing they are doing. Let's start from the grassroots and try mm -hmm. to bring our children to the standard where they are supposed to be, to the standard where they will see what others are doing. And they look at themselves and say, I do not need to do that. My mm -hmm. parents have told me that my priority now is to face my education and get to where I want to get tomorrow to be somebody in life. It is mm -hmm. not by carrying all these uh, gadgets. It's not by carrying all this. It's not by following my friend. It's not because my friend has bought this and I must, my parents must get it for me. Try to get them to understand that this is not the way of life. But mm -hmm. having said this, that does not mean you should not give your children the treats they desire, they deserve. Thank you. Um, if Thank any you, other person yeah. will have something to contribute to what yeah. we have just said. That is very will... well said. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So <laughs> I leave the stage for anyone that would like to say something. John Barrell, I know you're there. And uh, is her uh, sister Melanie, Melanie around today? I don't see her, no. Okay. I, okay, um, Sister Esther, I, I, I just have a, a couple of things to add to what you have no. said. Please um, do. Okay, so we talked about YouTube, right? So YouTube, yeah. uh, children love YouTube. There's so much on YouTube that children should not see. Uh -huh. And I don't know how many parents have tell me, oh my God, my kid's watching this and they know I don't like them to watch it and that, but they're always going on it because unfortunately you can't, they don't have a, a parental guidance on the regular YouTube and the YouTube for kids are more geared to the little kids. So most of the kids don't want to go on that because they figure, you know, all oh, that's just baby stuff. They want yeah. that. So it's really, really, it's really, really hard for that you should be able you should always 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 look at the screen to see um what's going on who they're talking to who they're communicating with um and you don't have to keep up with the joneses uh you know when it doesn't matter what other parents do it matters what you do and yes your parent your your children might get upset with you and be angry with you because so-and-so gets to do this. So-and-so don't have to get off. They don't turn off the internet at a certain time. I'm going over to so-and-so's house. And, but your children may be mad and angry at you right now, but when they grow up, they will thank you. And hopefully they will learn from you and also teach that with their children. And there are so many predators online. There are predators everywhere. And unfortunately, I don't know all the codes, but there are new languages now. They are getting through to your kids by, you know, how we say LOL, laugh out loud and stuff like that. There's all this new things out there that I, I'm just learning about how they're getting, like, is your parent watching? Um, uh, getting information, they'll ask the kids information, think it, and they play like as if they're, like as if they're a kid themselves. Yes. Yes. And, you know, so they're asking the kids, like, where do you live? Um, they're asking their last name. They're asking stuff like that. So it's very important. So you, you teach your kids never, ever, ever give out any information about your home life, 
nothing. And make sure when your children are online that there's nothing in the background because that's another thing they look for. They look to see what they can see in the background to gather information from that child. And it's very, it's very, very scary. They can ask the child to meet them someplace. Yeah. And uh, and a lot of kids won't talk to their parents about what's going on because they think they're talking to another kid. So you yeah. gotta be so, so careful with all the bad guys out there. So I, I know that I'm talking to you about safety first and, and the dangers of online, but you know, technology is also great for education. If you can get your children to go online and spend a little bit of time educating themselves on something, even mm -hmm. if it's National Geographic or or something educational, yeah. you know what I mean? Because don't don't take it it's like all the bad. We need to have some of the good with it. Yeah. So, yeah. I, like I said, I can go on and on and on about the safety first thing, but I I did I don't want to be a downer. So I just wanted to say, you know, education online is very important. Children can learn all kinds of things. My niece at four years old. Uh, online. She learned how to do knee surgery. She knew the tools in an operation room that you needed. She'd be like, stop over that. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you know this? So wow. there's a lot of educational stuff out there for your kids to play with and to yeah. learn. And, yes. uh, and that's all I have to say. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Back to you. No, but, but you're yeah. right about you know, you're right about belaboring the point of, of secure um, safety and security system because we, as you said, we don't want children to poo poo edit, um, technology because they're not going to. Let's face it, right? Nobody is going to. It's just not going to go that way. But the thing is, what I'm thinking is that if parents took the time to really be close to their children and make that their number one priority, if you have children, it is your number one priority in life. Nothing else is more important except God. Don't talk about your work and your other social things. If you're not going to be close to your children so you know what they're talking about and, they, and they're willing to confide in you and tell them things that are happening in their lives, you know, you can't just tell them don't do, because I mean, that's the worst thing you can do to teenage or young exactly. children. Don't tell them don't do this and with no reasoning. I don't mean you have to give them a reason because you're the parent, but you have to explain to them why it's because you love them. You want to keep them safe. This can happen. That can happen. If this happens, please come to me. Always, you are the first line of defense, right? Even with all the technology out there that we can put on these on these devices to whatever it is, we don't want to police them like that, right? Because they are eventually going to go into the world. You know, when they go to university, what do you do then? So we, we make them safe from home, make smart, make them smart about what's going on in the world. And, it, you know, they love us. They want to please us. They want to protect themselves. They want to be around. And then that's the only way we are going to be managing this. Because as you said, Sister Sharon, there are so many codes out there to, to lure our children into into bad situation and we're lucky if they come home alive i'm sorry but this is this is how far it can go right we have to be number one job it's our job we can't shirk that thank you thank you thank, thank, you, sister you. thank you thank you Thank you, Sister Yvonne Finn. Thank you, uh, Sister Sharon Wedding. Yes, we yes. are so, so happy. Thank you, event. It's so happy Thank to you. have brands like you in this place. We are really proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. you know, Thank it you. gladdens my heart that we can make it, you know, yes. with these minds joining together, pushing mm -hmm. ahead, we'll mm -hmm. get our children, our youths where they are supposed to be. As That's long right. as the parents put their hands on deck with yes. all they listen to us here, what they have learned from us, what they have gathered and try to, to put it into practice in their yes. different homes. I do yes. not see any reason why any child should go astray. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, thank you, like Sister Yvonne. Yeah. Thank you, Sister, uh, Esther, uh, thank you so much. I just wanted to say thank you to both of you, beautiful lady. And uh, Dr. Mooney, if you're watching, I hope we made you proud. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> and I hope she's well, whatever she's doing, I, I hope she's doing I think, well. Yeah. I think she should be happy. Great news, Absolutely. I hope you get. Yeah, you know, when you talked about the uh, so many codes that are out there, 
you yeah. know, because we are from the ancient, me, I am from the ancient of days. Yes. <laughs> so I truly did not understand any of those codes. So even when my kids here, yeah, the young one, the young age, you know, yeah. what do we call yeah. them now? What is that their own? You know, we have different stages, the baby boom, They're the twins, is, are they twins? Yeah, the twins and all those. <laughs> when they're using all those uh, languages and their uh, slangs, I, I ask them, what do you mean? You know, that kind yes. of thing, so. <laughs> but you see, that's what I'm talking about. This is exactly. what I'm talking about. You're letting yes. them you're letting them talk to you, not just have a separate life. Like we're not separate beings. Exactly. You know, exactly. they're of they're of you. So of course yes. they should be able and to And yeah. they are always willing and happy when I ask that question. Good, you know? good. Yes. Then you have it they'll just like they'll just make joke of me. I say, My mommy, you're just so so bad. You're so so <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't matter if they tease you. you. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they change so long as they confide in you, you're halfway that is there. That's why I have exactly. you. One I do not know. I say, have you here to defend me? You know that kind of thing. So it's really, really important that we we try to have make our children our friends. You know, yes, they yes. Pamper them, yes. get them to even if what they are doing is not right. That's yeah, a yeah. way you will coin their mind. Children, they tend to dance to where they feel comfortable. You know, yes. once they see yes. that they are comfortable in their parents, they will tell you any and anything. That's and with right. that, you use your wisdom to advise them yes. and mm -hmm. encourage them. Tell them the implication. Do not just say, do not do this like Sister Sharon said. You yeah. tell them no, the implication yeah. of doing that. You tell them yeah. the good part of it. You tell yeah. them the bad part of it. It is yeah. not left for them to yes. use whatever they need to use to choose the right way. And yes. sometimes you can play in their intelligence. <laughs> no, by so doing, to be honest, you see that what you are looking to achieve, you will get yes. it from them. Do yes. not drive them away. Do not scare them. Do not no. use force. No. Always come in with love. Appreciate yes. what they are doing in the first place. Start mm -hmm. by putting in one or two things. You can even use some anything you know that they love eating or something like that. Maybe yes. when you want to talk to them in that aspect, bring that in close to the table and leave it there. You might not even give it to them. Once they come in, they grab it. You see that they're happy. And you open yes. up a discussion. And that's how that it begins. Yeah. Exactly. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We are so happy we made it today. I yes. think we'll have to look into the chat. Unfortunately, yes. I do not have that, you know, eloquent <laughs> speaking <laughs> as <laughs> Perfectly fine. Do your thing. Be who you are. That's what we appreciate, right? So please go ahead. Everything our sister Yvonne would like to do. Uh, well, so. okay. You want me to? You want me to start? I can do. Okay. So I came in early and I wrote: While technology can provide easy access to information, for example, mm. we must ensure our children have a balanced approach of interaction with humans as well. Good. And then Sister Bally, who said she's just greeting us. Hello, Sister Yvonne, Sister Esther. And then she said, Thank hashtag so one much. global movement. Right. Are you seeing it? So do you want yes, to, whenever you want to jump in, I, I, well, Let's do intermittently. John okay. Perina right. said, hello, hello, everyone. And welcome to One Global Movement Speak With Heart. Please feel free to comment here in the chat while listening. All with love. Our... Uh, Sarenda Singh said, hello everyone, and passive family sisters, good morning. Evening sister Sivan Finn and all Dr. Queen, uh, Benny, Benny Sastri, Sirika, <laughs> oh, sorry if I call That's your name wrong. Uh, yeah, I am happy <laughs> and I'm enjoying this. Thank you so much. You take it off. Okay, and then John my, our managing director, John Barilla, he's just greeting us. He says, Yvonne Finn and Bally Hoo Hoo Hoo, hello. He always calls her. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bally, Bally Hoo Hoo is greeting. Hello, everyone. And she's saying hashtag one global movement and so on and so on. So those are greetings. All right. Yeah, those are greetings. Yeah. Then our sister Yvonne said greetings and thanks for being with us as we support hashtag one global movement. Mm -hmm. uh, managing director, hash, hash, one global movement. Hashtag speak with heart. Hashtag J. JJ Bitman, hashtag uh, big heart, hashtag unpassive, hashtag unpassilicious. Amen. <laughs> and okay, then that's our brother. Is that our brother Ashit? Yeah, Ashit. Yeah. We like, yeah. we love those pink hands. Thank you so yes, much. We do. Yes, we do. 
And then I'm um, it's, it's Ballyhoo, and she's saying, hello, Ashit D. Sangma, and then I'm welcoming him. And Brother Levi is here. He says, greeting Sister Esther, and Shubha May Barman is saying hi to everyone. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That's another greeting. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Barman. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Sorinda says hello, Balihu. Balihu, that's your greeting. John yes. Barilla said hello, Levi Mamabolo. It's your greeting. Another greeting, Balihu. Pushpin, hello, Levi Mamabolo. Another greet saying oh. thank you and welcome. That's Ashi. Uh, yes. Maria Jos, I will welcome that appreciation. Over to you. And then Bali, who is welcoming? Hello, Surinda Singpong. And Mr. John Barilla is saying, educate, hashtag educate the children, hashtag love the children. And Bali, who pushpin is saying, hello, Maria Jose. And Mr. John Barilla has lots of loves and hearts and the signal for, what is it? I love you. Yeah. Uh, it's for the blind or deaf. What is yeah. it? Deaf community? Okay. For and the then Surinda. Community, yeah. Yeah, and then Surinda Singh, it's also have a lots of beautiful, I can't even go over them. They're all kinds of Absolutely. beautiful signs. They're very pretty, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and our then, sister Nancy Jody says, greetings, everyone. Happy mm -hmm. Monday with all the fine, uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, John Barilla <laughs> folks, especially regulars, please feel free to express yourselves as you listen today with all his love. Yes. And That's then, mine. You can yes, read. Sister Esther is, has written. Welcome to ev to everyone to our today's one hashtag one global movement where we hashtag speak with heart, taking advantage of our blessings from our CEO Mr. Ashma Fara, in hashtag on passive. Thank you for coming. And then we have Fevian Movin saying hello to everyone, and we have Sister Ballyhu saying hello to Sister Nancy Judy. Cool. Still Ballyhu. Mm -hmm. Saying hello to Fivian Momin, Sorinda, hello, J. Barilla, Sajay Namasti, Namasti, <laughs> I think that is Indian it's, language, right? It's the Hindi, uh, Sashri, Akajin, you know, our Dr. Mundi is already studying all these things and mastering them. <laughs> 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 uh, Sister Yvonne Fee, greetings to Fivian, <laughs> as yes. for you. Barilla, John Barilla, share your thoughts here in the chat, please. Over and to you, sister. Thank you, Brother John, for always trying to get people to respond. Uh, Kenita Momin is saying, thank you, ma'am. And Yvonne Finn is saying, greetings to Sarinda. And I'm saying, greetings to Kenita. And I'm saying, greetings. Kenita is saying, thank you. She's saying, greetings to me, I'm assuming. And so it's just greetings. Hello, Sarinda. Yeah, thank you for coming today. Yeah, okay, all greetings yeah we thank you all for coming we really appreciate your support absolutely um oh, do we need to say that i mentioned good time <laughs> good time brilla john barilla we've called you saivon we're going shanda you're welcome who else have we not mentioned maria maria joe's you're welcome thank you very much uh brother levy we know you're here thank you so much Good time you again, Mary again. Magazine Smith says, thank you, One Global Movement. Children must enjoy every stage of their lifespan as a child. As they get yeah. older, they should be encouraged to do the right things, having the Absolutely. right attitude. Thank Absolutely. you so much for that contribution. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Judy Rees is saying, thank you, ladies. As always, you are so informative. Really appreciate hearing you talking about the safety and security for children. Lots of love and hugs to each and everyone. Thank you thank so you. much, Judy. That's appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Nancy, Judy, amazing discussion. Thank you, Queen Yvonne Finn, Queen Esther, and our beloved sister, Sharon Good job thank you so thank much you. thank you so much we appreciate you all really yeah okay. and i just yeah. want to say happy world Aut uh, autism awareness month okay um, and that is that is something that we all should uh, pay attention to mm -hmm. uh, because there are so many autistic children in the world and mm -hmm. most of them are boys 
for whatever reason, autistic seems to fall on on the on our on our voice. And so yeah. and like I said, the iPads are creating more autistic children. So we yes. have to really be careful with that. And also yes. to everybody, um, some of you some of you in the world have already seen the solar eclipse. You either seen a full solar eclipse or you see a partial. Us in Canada and the US, we hope to see it. It's not for another couple of hours yet, around 320. Yeah. I don't know what the weather's like in the US, but it's a little cloudy here. So I doubt mm -hmm. we're even going to get a partial, but it is eclipse day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Yeah, I think we have come to the end of our. Uh, yes, John. John was just typing to me. You really kept the fires burning. That's our brother, Levi Mama Bolo. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, brother Levi. Thank you. You're always so yeah. supportive. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, always supporting us. And that's the last one, Maxine. Yes. Peace and me. I and I didn't see any new names for for Doctor Bolo. Yeah, so I don't think there's any good. new name today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, should we bring our show to the end? Absolutely. Today? It's a nice, fast show, and we will just leave it at that. So, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Sister Yvonne Wedding. Thank you for the support you have given us today. Thank you, Sister Yvonne Finn. We Thank have you. made it, and I believe strongly. Okay, well, there's another one. Yeah, Alice, I know. Ma Mafabi. Thank you, yes. ladies. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we have come to the end of this, our show today, and uh, we will pass all your encouragement and your appreciations to our host, Dr. Yvonne Finn, when she comes back on stage. Okay. We are really happy and proud <laughs> that we are making you happy and contributing to the things you would like to hear and pass on to your children. We really appreciate this. And we also have another one. Is it Mr. Mm -hmm. Igor Brzezowski? Yes, uh, but we don't understand that language, so I don't know what yeah, we Yeah, we about. really do not <laughs> understand this language, but all I know is for appreciation Absolutely. and being present, happy that we are here today and appreciating what we are doing. That's all I can yeah. interpret to that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think so, he's from Slovenia, so that's good. We know that too. So okay. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. Rest of the Thank week. Thank you very yeah. much. You to you as well, Sister Sharon. We and recognize you. That's a new name. They are no 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 kutra. Yeah. Ma Malongo. <laughs> Good that evening. Have, perseverance. That should be they, a new name, isn't it? They won't be they they yeah, no, I think they've been here once before. So okay. I'm sure she has that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So oof. This is the end of our show today. We are bringing it to an end. So tomorrow is another day. We appreciate your coming. We welcome you. Please, as you're coming also, extend to your friends and well-wishers. Let them know what we are doing in this place today. Uh, yes. Like our sister, we always close with a slogan. We do not know that slogan, but all we know is that always encourage me involved there is no end that's endless possibilities that's the only yes. thing i've got from there so yes. <laughs> do we call it a day please i yes, just want to say for those of you don't forget dr mooney should be back tonight at 8 p.m oh that's oh, right yeah, thank that you very much Sharon. right yes. yes that is true at yeah, 8 p.m that is a solo with our sister dr yvonne finn uh, the yeah. link will be at the back of this <laughs> if you like. I'm not doing it in jokes. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Dr. Moon, so, tonight at 8 p.m., guys. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Bye. Thank you. Brady, are you there? Can